My name is Sheila Namirembe. I am a research scientist here at Vertex Pharmaceuticals in the medicinal chemistry department. In my role, I get to interact with biologists who will run my samples and test them and then feed me back the data. And the data will tell me whether my hypothesis is right or maybe if I'm off track, and then I can revise it. When I took my first organic chemistry class in college, that was like a light bulb moment, knowing, ah, oh, in plant eggs, there could be this mechanism that's going on, but that's also helping make a carbon-carbon bond, a carbon-oxygen bond. I can use my brain to put molecules together. So today is a new day in lab, and I am starting to set up my reactions. And these are a few reagents that I'm going to use. Now I'm getting ice that I will use to cool down my reaction as I run it. This is the reagent I need, so I'm going to weigh out 1.6 grams of it. So because we had solids at first, they can react in the solid form, but it's better if they're in a solution because then there's more contact. So the moment I put it in solution, that's when all the magic started happening. And now I'm doing the final step of it. So I'm basically bringing two components together. So now I'll walk up to the fourth floor to submit my compound to biology. At Vertex, we depend on the expertise of our colleagues in different fields and different divisions of the company to be able to take a complex problem, divide it up into different parts, and everyone has their area of expertise that speeds up the drug discovery process because you don't have to know it all. I can depend on colleague X, who depends on colleague Y to inform them. And then as a team, we work together to bring therapeutics to patients. So this is what they call the LCMS. It will give me the masses of components of my reaction that will help me know how far my reaction has gone. This little robot will come and move to pick it up. So from this screen, I can tell that I actually do have my product because that corresponds to the mass that I'm looking for, which is good news. So the reaction is working. It's going slow, but it's getting there. So I'll let that run overnight. And then tomorrow morning when I come back, it's going to have progressed even more. I hope from this slight glimpse into what a day of the scientist looks like at Vertex is that there are people behind the science, people who are passionate about it, and people who are waking up every day, coming into work, solving really complex problems, and hoping that one day we'll have a breakthrough to bring that therapeutic to the patients out there.